Hi guys, so all right, it is January 7, 2019. Um, okay, I just received this link to this article. And I also received a lot of comments underneath my video, the latest, you know, and I don't even remember what it was, but it was Trump and, uh, yeah, we're a mess, okay? We are such a mess that it is frightening that this is the quote-unquote awake community, the truth, quote-unquote, truth community. We really need to look at how we think, how we think. We really do have to become aware of our confirmation bias because that is dangerous. Having that confirmation bias operating in your mind and you're not aware of it, then it could lead you in a direction to just cement yourself accepting lies, bullshit. And if we can't come out of that, if we don't do the work necessary on ourselves, we're just a danger. We become a danger. You know, I, it's amazing to me that in so many of my videos on Trump, I have asked for the Trump supporters to just take a step back, look at everything objectively, really analyze everything that is taking place. Go into the details because the details are, well, the devil is in the details. Um, that is necessary if you are on, you know, this road of truth. If you look at who Trump has appointed, you will realize that he is not draining the swamp. He is just filling it with different swamp creatures. If you look into his appointments to head the federal agencies, you will find that they are implementing Agenda 2030, the Climate Change um, Action Plan. And I've also asked that you just consider, consider for a moment that everything that you are seeing in Washington, D.C. is a staged plan. Consider the possibility that Trump is part of that staging, that he's playing his role, that he comes into the office and he says, we're not signing the Paris Agreement. Okay, all the Trump supporters go, yay, 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 yay. See, he is for America. He is for Americans. He's doing what's right. But suppose he actually knows that the Paris Agreement will still be implemented. That he saying, I'm not signing it, the result is no different than if he did sign it. Let's suppose he knows that. You know, when you have... Um, this website, we are still in, and I believe this is, uh, it might be Michael Bloomberg, mayor, former mayor of New York. His um, site, well, Michael Bloomberg is really, uh, he is the head honcho in bringing together mayors, government officials, county executives, county uh, and even town officials and governors, tribal leaders, colleges, universities, businesses, faith groups, investors to implement the Paris Agreement. So we have approximately 400 mayors, U.S. mayors of cities, implementing the agreement. So does it matter? Does it really matter if Trump said, I'm not signing the Paris Agreement? 
What really should matter, though, is understanding that the Paris Climate Change Accord is an international treaty, and the president has to sign international treaties, and then Congress has to ratify international treaties before they are implemented. None of that happened. But these mayors and governors and county officials, they are implementing an international agreement which is in violation of the Constitution. And have you heard anything from your president on that? No. Nothing. He knows that the Paris Agreement is being implemented. It does not matter except to get you convinced that he's working for you he comes out and says, I am not signing the Paris Agreement. All right. So, I get this. Now, I don't know World Truth uh, TV. I don't know this site. Donald Trump tours chemtrail plan plane promises to terminate program. Really. Now, this could be easily photoshopped. And as you can see, all of these people who are walking behind, touring this, and apparently it's select members of his cabinet that toured a chemtrail outfitted dispersal airplane at Andrews Air Force Base yesterday afternoon, though I don't see a date on this article. Um, do you notice how this tour, no one is actually looking at the chemtrail apparatus. Why is nobody looking? This guy's on his phone, obviously. He's looking down. This guy's looking straight ahead. Um, nobody is looking at the actual uh, chemtrail tanks. You could argue that Trump is. All right. <laughs> you know, you don't have a date on this. And apparently, apparently, this came from NBC. NBC News reports Donald Trump is fulfilling his promise to end the controversial program and redirect government funding away from geoengineering operations and towards other programs like roads, the aging electrical grid infrastructure. Has he done any of that? No. Okay. And of course, his proposed wall. Now, this is apparently a quote of Trump's. Today marks a great day for our country where we turn our backs on the secret poisoning of our skies and look to a new future with better roads, a secure electrical grid, and a great wall to protect us from Mexico. Yes, said President Trump, reading prepared comments out in front of a Boeing 767, which had been retrofitted for chemtrail spraying. And then the quote is, and hear me now, and hear me, you, hear me, you. <laughs> uh, we are not going to let scientists and other elite eggheads tell us about how to control the environment anymore. It's America first, not the skies first. Are you kidding me? You you actually think that this this is what I'm getting from subscribers to argue that Trump is fighting the deep state. He's fighting everything, Carol, and you just can't see it. According to a White House insider, Vice President Pence, who's shown an interest in dismantling the public-private chemtrail partnership, which includes the Gates Foundation, Monsanto, the EPA, several branches of the military, and a man known in the Pentagon as the Colonel, before he went tits up, will assume control of the program with the sole goal of turning it off. It's going to be an uphill battle for Pence, says this news reporter on NBC. 
The deep state is hell-bent, according to one insider, on keeping the program up and running. So Vice President Pence will have to strategically defund parts of the program until it collapses in on itself. The process could take years. Anti-chemtrail activists across the country celebrated the decision. Did you hear anything about this? Okay. This is... Do not send things like this to me, okay? Because you truly are just revealing that you want to so believe anything that you're going to pass along this crap. Post it on a site. Uh, there is no way to verify any of this. You find that NBC report. You verify this story before you send it along to other people. Because all you're doing is sending along your Confirmation bias. That's all you're doing. You're not sending along the truth. This is so, uh, you know, we're in our brains, how they function, how we think is so important to this nightmare that we are living. So you're either going to do that work necessary to become aware of your confirmation bias. If you do not do that work, you are so not about the truth, you are about your own comfort. I'm sorry to put it so blatantly, but you know what? People are dying. We are in a war. People are having their lives destroyed, and you want to send along this bullshit? It's outrageous. And if we are not focusing on ourself, trying to get a better handle on our own brain, how we think, um, then this community will just continue to be a mess. It's America first, not the skies first. Jesus. Yeah, all right. Well, you know what? I have asked... I have asked Trump supporters, every time I post a video, I said, please just look into who he has appointed, that our federal agencies are still um, implementing the United Nations Agenda 2030, the climate change rules and regulations. It's still going forward. So you might just be blatantly lied to by the president that you are supporting. And I've also said, you know, support him all you want. That, that you know, if you if you feel that this guy is true, go go for it. But how could you possibly think that even if Trump was true, how could you possibly think that that one guy can fix the overwhelming number numbers of, of problems that we face. That it's essential for everybody to get involved in their own community. To fight these agendas that are taking place in your own community. And if you're not doing that, then you so are about your own comfort because you have just continued to, well... It ain't my responsibility, and Trump's in there fighting for us, so I'm just going to sit back and see if he actually wins the fight. We are gone. This country's gone. What is Trump fighting? Is he, is he fighting to reestablish our Constitution? No, because he violates it all the time. Look. Here, Trump's cabinet fed agencies implementing climate change agenda. I will link below to every all of these videos. Uh, Trump's infrastructure plan equals agenda 2030 on steroids. You get screwed. Investors profit. Um, he also said that, you know, he could re-enter the Paris climate deal 
Oh, only if it's, uh, you know, benefits the United States. He also said that about TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Well, guess what? The Trans-Pacific Partnership is, is also, many of the aspects of that treaty are being implemented. Have you noticed how corporations are just making their own rules, regulations, and laws? And they're not worried about governments uh, taking them to court or, you know, we can't sue any of them. Look, it's all happening anyway. Nothing, nothing has changed in two years with this guy in there. Nothing has changed. Agendas the United Nations agenda, depopulation, climate change, uh, Agenda 2030, all of them have just continued to come on, accelerated with speed. More and more Americans get taken out and, you know, here, Trump's new NAFTA. Hey, great deal for globalists. United Nations Agenda 2030 betrays Americans and U.S. sovereignty and you're angry at me for not supporting Trump. More evidence he's an immoral Rothschild puppet. Um, FCC approves new rule to limit local authority in 5G rollout. Trump's FCC, yep, well, he appointed um, Ajit Pai I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, who was he? A lobbyist for the telecommunications industry. A lobbyist for Verizon. You don't think Trump knew that? And essentially the new rule is, fuck local authority. Um, telecommunications industry, you put up those cell towers anywhere you want. Trump's national security strategy for the United States of America. Trump supporters, how do you not see this as a major red flag? The first red flag, but it was a major red flag for me when Trump laid out his national security strategy. And in that national security strategy, he made 5G a national security priority. Now, if you don't see something wrong well, with that, if you know a little, there's something wrong with you and how you think. You know, President Donald Trump issued a new $1.5 trillion infrastructure package help drive rural broadband and ease permitting processes for wireless operators installing small cell infrastructure. 5G is your, well, your prison grid. And Trump is rolling it out. Trump is yay yay. Trump hosted the 5G summit, wants it deployed fast. Trump supporters, reevaluate your support. Reevaluate, take a step back, look at things objectively, um, take in all of the information, do the, re don't just, you know, the headlines. Well, you know, and this is not this that I got from a, a subscriber. For two years, people have been claiming that. Donald Trump said that he was going to end geoengineering. No, actually, his administration supports it. And he also came out and said, um, and this I can't verify, so, but there have been claims that he has supported geoengineering. He supports biotech. You know, he supports GMOs. And please, my God, you know, if this was someone else, you know, like, like Hillary Clinton, you found out Hillary Clinton's uncle was the guy who was sent by our government to review Tesla's papers when Tesla was murdered, you would be up in arms. Oh, the connection. And of course, but no, Trump. His uncle, John Trump, 
He's the guy that was sent to review Tesla's papers. Isn't it interesting? John Trump, wow. You know, that brilliant MIT uh, radar specialist. He goes in, reviews those papers, comes back out, and, well, he tells media, oh, nothing there. You know, just, uh, I think he, the essence was that Tesla was just egocentric and, you know, there's really nothing there. Really? Okay. Well, we all know John Trump was lying. John Trump tells Donald that the world is going to be a scary place. Now, if it was Hillary, you guys would be, look at that connection and you would get it immediately. But no, it's Trump. So you support him and you just dismiss it. You're dismissing the evidence that this guy may not be who he is presenting to you. You dismiss the evidence. You don't want to see it, which means you have your confirmation bias working, operating in your head. Which means that you're not about truth. You just want to believe something so that you feel better and good and more comfortable as you go along. You're thinking, oh, Trump is going to restore the United States and, uh, and look at how he's doing it. My God, you know, he's even going to stop chemtrailing. Oh, my God, it's... And then you just dismiss reality. You're dismissing reality of all of these agendas continuing to operate. It's frightening. But you are a danger. You're, you're not, this is not good. It's really bad to operate this way. Oh, you tell yourself, you know, you're good. You tell yourself that, you know, you're supporting a guy who's fighting for Americans and who's fighting to restore. You know, what? What? <laughs> you know, um, we're so far gone at this point. And I think this guy was, you know, selected to come in and give you all of the horse shit because it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. Because what was needed was the American people to unite a long time ago to actually become active in their communities. Um, but none of that happened. So here we are living a friggin' nightmare that just continues to get darker and darker and darker every day, every day. So, uh, once it deployed fast, you know, and what, what was really striking for me was, oh my God, what the hell is going on here? All right. We lived through years and years and years in this community with Obama. And we were all on the same page. I don't, I don't recall any liberal progressive Democrats who were awake. Um, to all of the agendas. And then when Obama was, well, I have to say reelected because I wasn't on YouTube when he was first elected, but when he was reelected, I don't remember any of them being awake to all of the agendas. And then, and they being awake, you know, to how the divide and conquer works, the Hegelian dialectic, uh, dialectic and all of that stuff and then suddenly supporting Obama, um, dismissing all the evidence, just, just their, their support, blind support of Obama, that he was going to be fixing America. I see it. It's all over the place. The Trump supporters all over the place. Suddenly you, guys have, I don't know. It's like, do you need 
Do you need to believe lies just so that you feel hopeful? Now, even Syria. I'm going to be withdrawing from Syria, and we're bombing Syria. You know, I don't, I, you know, truth requires details. If you ain't into them and support Trump, you're a red Obama supporter. Um, just talking Trump Constitution American psyche. We are, we are a mess. We are a mess. It's not just the sleeping sheeple, the willfully ignorant. It's all of us. We're a mess in how we think. And yeah, a lot of the thinking is, it, 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 it's derived from that low level of consciousness in which so many people are just ego driven. They're all about themselves. You don't recognize it as that. You're not aware of it, but you are about yourself. You know, and just wanting to believe that everything's going to be okay. So you can go about your business on a, on a daily basis, feeling hopeful and comfortable you know, the Christian, Christian community filled with people who really don't give a shit about all of the American suffering, all of life suffering. Trees, uh, the four-legged, the two-legged, they're just glad that they are at the end and Jesus is coming back. This kind of thinking is, I'm sorry, it is so grossly self-centered. Trump, Foxconn, Wisconsin deal. Wisconsin goes China. The devil in the details. Trump open to rejoining TPP. Trump is not fighting deep state. He works for the deep state. Bombs away. Trump orders military strikes on Syria. You know, Trump, listen to him. I, I mean, one week he says one thing about foreign policy. Then the next week he says another thing. Uh, then he's withdrawing from Syria. And while you do need to dig into details about that, because, well, if he does actually withdraw those troops, why do you think the Pentagon has a budget for private contractors? We are hiring mercenaries. We've got them all over the world. Mercenaries, you know, Blackwater and uh, Eric Prince. and So the wars don't stop. You just happen to spend more money because the mercenaries get paid a whole lot more than the U.S. troops. But guess what? He's not withdrawing the troops. Netanyahu said, oh, please don't do it so quickly. So Trump said, okay. And now he's backtracking. And today, what do I see? I see, which I've got to pull up for you. U.S. ramps up bombing of ISIS in eastern Syria following Trump withdrawal announcement. I thought Trump said we were victorious over ISIS. I guess not. I guess not. Are you, are you capable of getting out of your confirmation bias to look objectively at everything that's happening? Are you capable of doing that? When you come at me, when I post these videos and you are personally attacking me and then giving me these arguments that are not arguments. I mean, it's so ego driven from your own brain that you so desperately have to believe something, but it's for your own sake. It doesn't help us. It doesn't help those who are suffering. It doesn't move us forward. Nothing. And yes, it is, you know, very frustrating, very, you know, look, the bottom line is 
it doesn't matter how how evidence and facts are presented or delivered or communicated it doesn't matter not when you are trying to communicate to somebody who is adamant desperate desperate to believe something that's not true when you're facing that kind of individual they have such a wall up their confirmation bias operating so powerfully that if you candy coat the information if you present it really gently and nicely or if you're angry and frustrated and you're like okay finally please get it no it doesn't matter because what's happening in that brain will not allow the information in they will do everything to dismiss it to argue against it because what happens their bubble is burst and if Trump is not going to save the day, does that, even just on a subconscious level, is that brain beginning to get, okay, I guess that means that maybe I have to do something. Well, that's going to, that's going to disrupt my comfort. Um, so I've got to believe that Trump is for us. I have said over and over and over again, over and over, I will be the first to come out and say I was wrong. I'd love to be able to do that. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because, the, 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 first of all, this fighting of the deep state, please, the deep state is all over the world. It's all over the world. It is a criminal cartel. Psychopaths. And frankly, if he was really fighting the deep state, you cannot tell me that they would not have taken him out when they can actually induce heart attacks. Oh, he's at an age? He's got a whole lot now of responsibility. He, the President of the United States, and suddenly hey, he has a heart attack. You know, people argue <laughs> mainstream media. Can't you see it, Carol? They all hate him. Can't you can't you take a step back and consider that maybe that's just a staged play. They put up Trump who's got an ego so big and if you know and have known of Trump throughout you know from well for me it was 1980 on my being a New Yorker Trump he was a he was like desperate to be on the front pages of newspapers all the time press attention give it to me give it to me give it to me and yeah, he'd get into these public wars with people and they would shoot one another down, Trump and whoever he was warring against and uh, uh, one was Rosie O'Donnell and they were such immature, such, I, I couldn't, you know, but this guy never seemed to be affected by any criticism whatsoever. You know, it might very well be that Trump was selected to take all of this heat. Trump was selected to be blamed for an economic collapse or anything else that happens. You have to consider all possibilities. If you're not doing that, then you are about yourself. You are about your own comfort. It gives you comfort to believe that somebody's fighting for you. But 
you, you, you can't even claim to be awake if you are not considering every possibility that is taking place in this age of deception. All links are below.